Good afternoon, Rebels. My name is Kanani Espinoza, and I'm CSUN's NSA Dir Assistant Director. Today, you will hear from candidates for Senate President, Student Body President, and Vice President in the final Executive Board debate before general elections this week. Please welcome our moderator, Dr. Abigail Aguilar, who teaches U uh, philosophy and political science at UNLV. Please be kind and courteous to the candidates as they do the debate today, and please keep all applause till the end. Thank you. For today's debate, we're going to do it in an alternating fashion so that the candidates will go so that candidate one, chosen by coin flip, will answer uh, first, the other one will answer second, and then with the second question, it'll be candidate number two, and then the other one will answer, and after each of the answers, they'll have a one minute rebuttal. So a two minute answer, uh, they'll alternate, one minute rebuttal, they'll alternate on those, they'll have an opening statement at the beginning, a closing statement at the end, uh, two minutes for each of those statements. Uh, again, determined by coin flip for each of these, how they'll do it. And for this one, Ms. Jasmine Hicks is the one who will go first. Uh, Gil uh, Revolario will go second. Good. Um, with each of these, then, you get to do your opening statement first. So, Ms. Hicks, I turn it over to you. Two minutes. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Jasmine Hicks. I'm the current Senate President Pro Tem 4, which is second to the Senate President. Uh, I've been a senator, well, one of the longest standing senators uh, currently. Um, I've been asking you for your vote, and um, Senate President is the position to basically run Senate meetings as well as manage 25 senators and um, to basically manage meeting, know Robert's Rules of Order, to know a Nevada open meeting law, and I'm here with the most experience. And uh, I'm here to talk about that. Thank you. Your turn. All right, thank you so much everybody for coming through. Um, and you know, just to piggyback back off what uh, Jasmine Hicks said, um, you know, the Senate President is the one who is going to uh, run the meetings and has to know uh, proper rules of procedure and Robert Rotor, all that good stuff. But, um, you know, a little bit about me. I'm a senator for the Urban Affairs College of Urban, yeah, I already said that. Um, I'm an aspiring comedian. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's time for me to go a step up, you know, going from serving two years, uh, two terms as a senator. I think it's time to uh, do due diligence to my, to the students and be Senate president. Um, I served one term at CSN as a, um, student senator for the Cheyenne campus was the co-chair was co-chair of one committee, uh, chair of two committees. Uh, when it comes to experience, I believe that uh, I got that, and uh, you know this debate will, will prove who who has that that experience that is needed and required to run these Senate meetings effectively. Uh, again, thank you so much. All right, the first question has to do with leadership style for each of you, and Ms. Hicks, you'll go first. Uh, Mr. Revelario, you'll go second on this for each the answer, for the two minute answer, and then the one minute rebuttal, same order. Here's the question. Every Senate president that takes office assumes his or her own leadership style and presides over the Senate differently. If you win this election, what type of leader will you be? And what will you focus on when it comes to presiding over the Senate and Senate meetings? Please be specific. All right. Okay. Um. As far as with leadership experience, I believe I do have the most leadership experience. My uh, style does incorporate uh, talking to um, everyone, uh, so all the senators, to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Uh, I do take everyone's opinion into order. I also uh, am very, what's the word? Uh, well, I can uh, delegate tasks as, um, Current Senate President Pro Tem 4, I just have uh, ran some of the meetings as Senate President J.E. has uh, sometimes been absent from them and has been proved to be effective uh, and just continue keeping what I currently am doing. And uh, as far as what the Senate goes, uh, I'm just holding uh, everyone accountable for what they do and um, basically Keep everyone uh, in check with that. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Revolori, you have up to two minutes. 
to give um, your answer on this leadership style. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much. Uh, well, my leadership style is um, pretty much based on, on rules and and you know try to be less of an emotional person. You know, sometimes you feel bad for uh, a certain person, but the rules are set there for a reason, and, and that's something that I think that needs to be shown within within the meetings and. Um, you know, some people might agree with you and others might not. You might lose a couple of friendships, but you know what? At the end, this is business, nothing personal. And that's something that's, and to get onto that, my focus is letting, letting know the senators that this is not personal. This is strictly business. Uh, my time um, at, uh, at NC Sun uh, for almost two terms, I've noticed that people take uh, the Senate meetings a little bit too personal. And, um, it's all right, it's all right, you know, we are humans, but we need to realize that this is business and business sometimes requires you to be a little bit more stern on, on your beliefs and, and you, gotta, you gotta represent the students in the way that you think is correct. Um, and um, senators might disagree, disagree or agree, but at the end of the day, we are doing as, as a whole what is best for our students and that's what I wanna focus on the most. Thank you. Good, rebuttals for each, same order, up to one minute. Well, with rules, rules do also include that um, senators do come to meetings on time and are always present for every meeting. Um, as far as I know that um, for the last seven meetings, I've always been on time and I've always been early because as Senate President Pro Tempor, I have to set up the meetings. Um, Senator Robolorio here has missed four meetings and was late to one out of the last seven meetings. and he has yet to be, and uh, accountability has not been checked for that. Again, this is not personal, it's business, again, to what I'm trying to say. Um, I had, my dad got in a car accident, and I think family is more important than, than business at that time. Um, we are a, um, my parents only speak Spanish, and I am the translator at all times, so when I leave, when I'm not the assigned me, it's because I have to take care of my parents, uh, my mom has a nurse, but this is personal. I don't have to go into that. I don't have to defend myself. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Okay, good. Second question. This one's going to have, going to do with how you aim to improve things. Now the order for this one's going to be backwards. So Mr. Revolorio, you go first for both the answer and for the rebuttal. Two minutes for the answer, one minute for the rebuttal. All right. Second question, what do you feel is the biggest flaw with the way Senate meetings are currently run or have been run in the past? And if you are elected, what will you do to improve upon that weakness? Two minutes. All right. Um, I've been very fortunate to serve under a uh, current Senate president who knows his rules very well. He's done a great job and, and to me has been a, a, um, a figurehead of why I'm going for this position. Uh, I, I'm striving to be like this guy, um, you know, current Senate President Jay Yoon, who knows his rules and all that good stuff. Um, but something that I do want to change is, um, he's been doing a good job at it, but you know, a little bit more stern when it comes to senators getting out of hand, you know, the meetings run a little long, which is understandable, you know, you're uncomfortable, you want to leave, you want to go home, you have things to take care of, but uh, you know, we have to, uh, keep uh, centers um, in place, less talking, and uh, less distractions. So the, the, the meetings run very smoothly. Other than that, thank you. Okay, Ms. Hicks, two minutes. Uh, the biggest flaw is that I would have to say starting meetings on time. Our meeting is supposed to start at 6 o'clock. Um, we have a hard time uh, getting senators, uh, which also comes into accountability, to show up on time to meetings. Um, and so I'd like to make sure that they do know that Senate meetings do start up at 6, that they have to show up at least 10 to 15 minutes before the Senate meeting starts, so that the, not even just that the rooms are set up for the meetings, but so that we can start on time, and so that uh, business can be conducted in a timely manner. Uh, that's one of the biggest flaws in our uh, current Senate right now that I would like to see fixed. Okay, one minute rebuttal for each. I'll pass that rebuttal. Okay. I'm good, thank you. Anything you'd like to add? Uh, no, I think I Okay, good. So, question number three. Now, with this one, Ms. Hicks will go first again. We're alternating back to that. 
So she'll answer first, two minutes for the answers, one minute for the rebuttal. This third question has to do with organization for each of you. So here's the question. Along with managing 25 senators, being Senate president requires you to be organized, to keep track of paperwork, to keep track of attendance, classroom speaking, agendas, etc. And losing track of any one of these puts CSUN at ris risk of severe consequences. So what are your specific plans to maintain CSUN records and what type of system will you use to ensure that you are organized? So again, about organization. So Ms. Hicks, you go first on this one. Uh, with organization, as a science student, uh, we have to keep organized. If we don't, well, we end up losing our notes and then it's, it's really difficult for us to um, you know, progress through our exams and stuff. So with organization, uh, the organizational skills that I've attained from classes and stuff like that uh, will play into this. Uh, by keeping basically folders for, uh, as what we have currently, we have folders for each of the senators. Uh, I like to continue with that, as well as um, using Excel as a very good uh, program for keeping attendance records to make sure that everyone has done their classroom speakings. Uh, the file cabinets that we can uh, that each of the offices have will be utilized with uh, file folders to keep every to keep all the records uh, in check and to make sure that everything is uh, organized well. Okay. Mr. Revolorio, up to two minutes. Organization. Uh, all right, organization. Um, well, currently, the, the current Senate President, like uh, Ms. Uh, Pro Senator, Pro Senate Temp, wait, what? Uh, Senate Pro Tempore Jasmine Hicks, there you go, um, said, you know, Jay Yoon does a great job at, you know, being very organized, creating the folders. And that is something that I, you know, I guess us two want to continue. Uh, this is something new that he started, and, and, and I think we should keep this going on as a flow for each year. Um, something else that I that I do want to, um, you know, be more organized. Always just check. You know, there's nothing wrong with just checking. Um, you know, always uh, be careful with um, certain statutes that we got, like CSUN statute, like the Nevada Open Meeting Law. You know, always make sure that that's followed correctly. Um, there's been mistakes done. Uh, we've been fortunate that those mistakes, mistakes have been corrected, um, but with if I get in, my, job, uh, my main priority is to avoid those mistakes from happening. Um, but we are human, you know, we're not perfect. Um, but that is something that I do want to focus on. And uh, with that, thank you. Rebuttal. Up to one minute, Ms. Hicks. Uh, I would like some clarification on how uh, the Nevada Open Meeting Law and stuff like that goes into organization? Oh, the Nevada Open Meeting Law. Uh, you you got to, in order to be, or, in order to run these meetings effectively, you have to be organized with your things and um, check on the Nevada Open Meeting Law on how these agendas are filed. It's all being organized um, as to how, res uh, how recent, um, how, how these agendas are posted. And that's something that comes in, uh, with organizational skills, that those agendas are posted at the correct time that they need to be, I guess, legal. That's what I meant by organization. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Now for the closing statements. Since uh, Ms. Hicks went first with the opening statements, Mr. Revolori, you go first with the closing statements. Up to two minutes, please. Up to two minutes. All right. I'm going to do this a little bit different. Um, this is my style. I'm a comedian, like I said. Uh, we hold the mic and. Uh, and I want to be comfortable, I want to get on, you know, I'm the same as you guys, I'm no different. I'm just trying to do what's best for the school. I guess, not just me, but we both are. We're trying to do what's best, best for the school. Um, and what's best for the school, um, you know, students will be very appreciative of that. But I want to thank everyone watching online. Uh, thank you for being informed and those that came here. Thank you for being informed. And, and all that matters is that you are informed and that you vote. Um, Wednesday and Thursday are the elections, please be informed. And um, you know, my goal is to run these meetings effectively and most efficiently as possibly can I can. Um, like I said, I am human, I'm not perfect, um, but my goal is to make mistakes, um, the least amount of mistakes possible. Um, I guess my experience go far beyond, even from a little kid, uh, you know, since uh, seventh grade I've been in student council, but that's not the same as collegiate student government. Um, and uh, you know, at CSN, I, I held one term, and uh, I was, like I said, I was the co-chair of one committee, uh, chair of two committees. 
uh, two terms here in, in CSUN and, and uh, hopefully I can expand on that. And I think it's time for me to go up and do what's better for the students. Uh, you know, our college needs more new, fresh ideas, so if I can leave my seat to do what more for all students and give someone else that experience and, and um, that I gained from being a senator, that would be the best thing that I can do not only for myself, but for the students that I represent. Again, thank you so much for coming, and uh, don't forget, vote. Thank you. This takes up to two minutes. Thank you. Uh, thank you to everyone that has been watching this. Um, as the current Senate President pro tempore, uh, I am second to the Senate President currently, uh, so that my experience is a little bit more uh, than the Senator Reverend Lauren here. Uh, with rules and stuff like that, rules have to be followed, accountability has to be in check, and with senators missing meetings uh, for various reasons, whatever it may be, or even being late to meetings, uh, and aren't being held accountable to that, uh, needs to change. Uh, as, well as, you know, as well as um, when my current leadership experiences, I've been a lead, student, uh, student leader in several organizations on campus. Uh, I do know Robert's rule of order. I know, understand Nevada open meeting law. Uh, it's just, Senate President's job is to be here, is to lead the meetings, is to manage 25 senators. I do have that experience, and uh, I'd like to do that, continue serving uh, within CSUN as Senate President. Yeah. All right, thank you, Ms. Thanks. Higgs, Mr. Revolorio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.